some other stuff with our weight eventually. But we'll start in a child's pose. This thing's gonna beep at me in a second. This clock hates me. your spine, tucking your tail, really stretching out your shoulder blades, pushing your chest away from the ground, and then dropping your chest down, pulling your shoulder blades together, tail up, chin up, and just taking a breath in each spot, and then switching, and just moving in a way that feels good, maybe a little bit of side to side, maybe back and forth, just Really stretch it out, opening up. And taking some nice deep breaths. All right, we'll just come back to a nice neutral spine, nice flat back, and we'll do a few bird dogs here. And we're gonna stay on one side. So right arm reach, left leg stretch back, and then you're gonna pull your knee to your elbow, and then we'll kind of hold here for one and then stretch back out, kind of hold for one here at the top, and then bring it back in, squeeze elbow to knee, hold for one, and then stretch back out, hold for one. Let's do a few more of these. Okay, holding for one in each spot, getting a good stretch and then a good squeeze. switch sides. So we got left hand stretching out, right leg stretching back. Nice big stretch, holding for one and then pulling elbow to knee, hold for one. And big extend, hold for one. And squeeze elbow to knee. And then extending and then squeezing in and holding for one in each spot. So that um, your arms are straight, legs are straight, hips are high, 
And we're going to take your right hand and twist and reach to that left heel. Maybe hold for one, and then we'll place it back to the ground, and then switch left hand to right heel. Again, maybe hold for one, and then switch. Just kind of holding for one in each spot. side. <clears throat> okay, and then we're just going to roll over on our backs. And next we're going to do a little bicycle. And so we're kind of just keeping with your low back on the ground. We'll pull that elbow to knee, opposite elbow to opposite knee, and then we'll switch. And just give it a little tap. You don't have to hold for one anymore. But we're gonna do these for 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go into a hollow hold. So we're just gonna stay here in hollow, low back on the ground, bending your knees if you need a little help. And try to keep your shoulders up off the ground. And just low back glued to the floor, belly button to spine, rib cage tucked. We're gonna hang out here. Three, two, one. And then you'll kind of rest flat, but then pull your feet up to your hand. And then rest flat, feet up to hand. And keep your legs straight. Or you can bend your knees and reach like this. But either way is good. You're just gonna go flat and then toe tap. I'm gonna do this for three more seconds, two. One, and now we'll go back to our bicycle, elbow to knee. And again, just short breaks as you need, but then getting reps when you can. A little bicycle, bicycle. Three, two, one. Here's that hollow hold. Why is this so hard? I feel like we do 20 seconds of these all the time and it never gets easier. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. A little rest, and then toe tap. Again, straight legs or bent legs, it's up to you. Okay, and we're gonna go one more time through in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Bicycle. Last time through, <coughs> we got it. Three, two, one. Hollow hold. R. Stand up and grab a sip of water. Okay, great. 
Um, before we start lifting our weights a little bit, we're just going to do a little bit of a warm up for kind of our hips. Um, and so what we're going to do is you're going to start with your hands on your hips and we're going to bow forward like you're doing a good morning, you know, keeping your legs slightly bent, back flat, you'll just kind of bow forward like a good morning. And then you kind of get to this point where hamstrings start to feel nice and tight and in order to get any lower you need to bend your legs. And then from here you're going to squat down. So now you're going to keep your chest in this position and just kind of sit your weight into your heels and try to squat down from that hinged position. And then, um, sorry, I'm just trying to keep my arms up so you can kind of see what my hips are doing. And then you're going to pull your hips back up so you're back into that hinge again and then you'll stand. And so, it, and so that we can uh, do some together if you want. We're not going to add any weight or anything. But again, this is just really kind of about warming up your hips and also kind of like just warming up your body awareness and everything. So you'll hinge forward, keeping your back flat, chest up, and then you'll kind of sit back into your heels and squat down, sit back. And then you'll unhinge again. So hips back up high, bowing forward, and then stand. <laughs> and so just kind of keep going through a few of those at your own pace, hinging forward, sitting back. really shifts from this hinged position into this squatting position like much differently than just squatting from a stand and then coming back up leaning forward and again you really should be feeling this like in your hips and your hamstrings really opening that up and actually you can kind of do whatever you want with your arms if it's easier to kind of balance out in front that might be easier it might be easier to kind of hold them on your head actually even back forward and kind of like sitting back, kind of helping keep your chest up. And that position is kind of tough for me. Okay, it'll be like two more. Concerned about how it's going to work for the next part. 
So well, maybe we'll have to make it work. Yeah, or you'll have something else. Yeah, your paint can or whatever. Uh, and so next we're gonna clean our weight and we're gonna do six per side. We're gonna try to do it in one hand. And again, if you gotta do it in both, that's fine. And so as you're doing your clean, a lot of those rowing mechanics kind of come into play, except that you're gonna be hinging forward and rowing more straight up, but keeping the weight close to your body. Maybe I'll wait for Heidi to come back. Yeah, Pew, you got it down. And we'll do six per side. What do you have now? Oh, love that. <laughs> yes. And now you can kind of just rotate it as you bring it around. Perfect. Love it. And we'll do six per side. <clears throat> and uh, depending on what your weight is, too, it may feel better off to the side. Like Heidi, yours might feel better off to the side, like you're doing. And like Chinas, maybe feels a little bit better in between the legs. Either is fine. So you're just going to have the weight kind of trying to you know, pull you one way, twist you one way, weight you down on one side, but you're going to be using all your midline strength to like stay balanced and square, but we're just going to be loaded on one side, and we'll do six per side, or 12 total. And yeah, holding it up at your chest if you can't, yeah, that's great. before we go back to the top. And this one's gonna be another one where we're gonna load on one side at your shoulders. <laughs> and this one is gonna be super fun. So we're gonna do reverse lunges, but we're gonna do reverse walking lunges. And so I think maybe once upon a time we like put all these pieces together, but we've, you know, we do our reverse lunges all the time where we step back to like a high knee, but now we're gonna just kind of travel backwards. And so you're gonna go from that lunging position into a high knee as you travel backwards. And so you can try them without your weight if you want at first, but um, it'll feel pretty good. We've definitely put all these pieces together before. So you're gonna do your reverse lunge, and then you'll have to like kind of bring this leg back almost like into that high knee. But you don't have to do a high knee. You're just gonna travel backwards on your lunges. And we're gonna do six per leg, so it'll be six right left, or so it'll be three per side on your legs, really, but like six lunges with the weight here, and then six lunges with the weight on the other side. So you'll do 12 total lunge steps. If I can't reverse lunge, then I'm going to stay. Oh, yeah. You can still just do, like, walking. yeah, yeah. You, you could just still do, like, alternating reverse lunges, or you could do them as, like, uh, maybe you could try this. This could be fun. You could do them, like, as a split squat, but as you come up, you could try to go into a high knee, uh -huh. and then so, like, split squat, and then high knee. So it's okay. almost like you're going backwards, and then you could do them, like, all on that side, and then switch or something. Okay. <clears throat> alternating lunges with the weight on your right, and then six alternating lunges. <laughs> Why is it harder with the weight on my right? And then your weight, your weight on your left. Side, 
for all the stuff. And then those cleans were next. And we'll get six on each side. And then next it was your squats. So just weighted on one side, six per side. And as you're squatting, try to keep your heels and your toes on the ground. or split squats, however you're modifying, in reverse, six per side. And we'll have time for one more.
squat. So I was going to skip the squat, squat, and then lunge. We will use our weight for the next part. Each set, we're going to do four minutes of work, and then we'll rest for one minute. And we're going to do that for four times. Hopefully, we have time to do all four. And so it's going to start with 30 seconds per side in a side plank. So the first minute, we'll just be side planking, right? Side planking, left. And then you're going to have the next two minutes to do a complex of, like, the moves that we just did. <laughs> and so it's going to start with... You're going to actually like come down into a plank position and it's going to start <laughs> with a row and you're going to just do this all on one side and then switch to the other side for the next time through. And um, keeping in mind though that at the end you're going to lunge on both legs with the weight just on this side. That counts for like this side. So it's like this arm. So you'll start in this plank and you'll do a row. And then you're going to step up to your weight and that's when you're going to do your clean up to your shoulder and then you'll do your squat, and then you'll do your lunge, and your lunge. And then on the way down, you'll switch arms, and you'll do the same thing again. So in this plank, you'll do your row, and then you'll step up into your clean, and then you'll do your squat, and then you'll do your lunge, and your lunge. And again, we're gonna be doing that for like two minutes. So the goal is to just kind of be like slowly, steadily, kind of getting through those, you know, climbing up a big mountain with a backpack or something kind of feeling. And um, then the next minute, we're going to go back down into this plank position. You're not going to be holding your dumbbell, but it's just going to be next to you or your bottle that you were working with, Heidi, maybe would be great. <laughs> and so you just come down and you're going to do um, mountain climbers. You're going to do like four-ish, but counting is going to be weird and hard, so like don't worry about it. Just do like right, left, right, left. You know, and then you're going to come up and you're going to jump over your dumbbell. But you're going to land on one foot each time. And so you're going to land on your outside foot each time. So you're trying to like balance on one foot. And then you'll step back into your mountain climber. Three, four. Come up. Land on one foot. Step back into that mountain climber. Come up. Land on one foot. 
And so that'll be the last minute, and then we'll and you'll do just as many of those as you want. And then the and then the minute after that will be rest. And we'll do that for four rounds. And again, I'll be narrating us through it and stuff, so you don't have to remember all of it. <laughs> Lines, I have um shoot up elbows. Oh dang. Um, Oh yeah, that could be good. Um, you could do like hollow, but like roll over onto like one side and then roll over onto the other side. I think we've maybe done those once upon a time. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I think maybe we stopped doing those ones because I got like scared out my shoulder doing that kind of thing maybe, but we definitely, we did them a long time ago, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, that'll be hard. <laughs> All right, cool. So yeah, starting with that side whatever, clanking or holding hollow, which also sounds really tough. Okay, we're going to start in 10 seconds. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go! I always forget that I got to hold my side plank somewhere I can see the clock, but I remembered this time, at least for now. And so yeah, we'll hold here on this side for another 15 seconds before we switch to the other side. Oh, getting my chest all stretched out. Feels good. All right, three, two, one. We'll switch to the other side. minute for these. more seconds for these. I'm going to try to stick that one foot before going into the next rep. Ten 
10 seconds, and then we get to rest. Three, two, one, rest. So we get one minute off to catch our breath, and then we'll do that three more times. No, when you're doing your squatting, you want to keep your chest up and like stay more balanced. You can hinge forward a little bit, but that was more just um, to kind of open up our hips and stretch out a little bit. That was like a special kind of move. Okay. Yeah. I feel like it looked like you were like doing squats, keeping your chest up, at least earlier. I didn't watch you that time, but... Okay, yeah. <laughs> You're doing great. Okay, next set. Ready, set, go. Side plank. Ten more seconds on this side. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Switch to our row plus clean <clears throat> squat lunge lunge. And then we'll switch to the other side. <laughs> We'll do these 90 more seconds. Seconds, we'll switch to those mountain climbers. seconds. Three, 
two, one, rest. Another minute off. And we're halfway done. More seconds. And we start back in that side plank again. I don't want to do this hollow rolls would be super fun. I'll pass. <laughs> Ten seconds. Those aren't really good. Maybe the last round. I'll do the last round. Three, two, one. Go! Ten more seconds on this side. Three, two, one, switch sides. Ten more seconds. minute for these. Thirty more seconds. Ten seconds, then we back to climb. Three, two, one. Mountain climbs. And then stick that landing on the outside foot. seconds. Ten seconds. Nice. 
One more time through. Okay, I guess I'll do the hollow rolls this time. Don't do it if you your shoulder though. Like, I'll just do it with one arm up. Okay. I do the, the hold, I do the hold and then I have the roll. Yeah, nice. What is this? Oh, is that the sun? <laughs> I was like, what is this light in my screen right now? I'm gonna take a photo of us over on Oh, basking in the sun. <laughs> All right, 10 more seconds, we'll do this last set. on that side for the side plankers. Thirty more seconds. Oh, three, two, one, switch sides. Thirty more seconds for me and Q. Or anyone else solidarily the hollow rocking side to side. Hollow rolling. Fifteen more seconds. There. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Switch to our plank row. Plus clean, plus squat, plus lunge on each leg. Oh my gosh, last set. We got this. Here. Cruising. 90 more seconds with our weight. seconds for this part. steady through the finish here and keep planting that landing 30 more seconds Good stuff. 